Hey guys, Spartan117GW here, and this is my Operation Iraqi Freedom loadout. As you can see, it's a pretty simple setup, very iconic with the Woodland IBA, or Interceptor Body Armor, Mitch TC2000, ESS Goggles, NVG Bracket, and Arm, uh, standard issue SDS pouches, a DCU pants, and USGI boots. The top, I substituted a GSS gear, basically raid mod top that was very close to the close combat uniform which was one of the test uniforms during this era uh, to kind of create a pretty hopefully faithful replication of a strike brigade type you know setup during the war very simple very clean uh, definitely not super high speed but uh, it's so iconic and I really love the contrast the DC and woodland vests gives uh, I think this is a great change and, you know when it, when it comes to the sea of Milsim and um, you know <laughs> multi-cam gear you know OG impressions kind of seems like the way to go these days so this is my take utilizing the Copperhead AO. Now the rifle that I'm running is a KWA VM4A1 is an adjustable FPS gun that can really get adjusted all the way up to 450 FPS usually sits around 380 to 400 and once you get dialed in, it's pretty dang good to go. Most of the accessories on here are GMP accessories, the Picatinny rail system, the gangster grip, and the peck box, although the more accurate version is a peck 2. I accidentally got a peck 4, but it's close enough. Also have a uh, EVIC red dot on here with a matrix riser. It's close to the M60, uh, M68 or comp to red dot that is found during the war. The riser is not exactly the same, but it's close enough for airsoft. I also switched out the crane stock uh, and rewired it to Dean's, which is fantastic. 2.8 LE stock to be a little bit more faithful. Now, I didn't really change the motor grip because, well, let's face it, once you have your hands on the gun, you really can't see the motor grip anyways. And I'm not going to lie, that Surefire M961, man, that thing's OG, and it really completes the look of this gun. Very fantastic. Definitely want to thank Evic for helping me set up the blaster. Overall, I had a lot of fun running the kit. It definitely was a little toasty, but as you can see, the results speak for themselves. If you want to stand out from the crowd, this is kind of the way to go. Do something, you know, OG or maybe something that hasn't been done in a while. Thank you guys for watching. This was an awesome loadout. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. If you would like to see more, check out my website and check out the channel and be sure to follow me on my social media. Also, I have patches for sale and I want to thank you guys for all your support. Also, be sure to hit that little bell get notified whenever I upload a new video. See you guys next time.